Good morning from our cabin at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. I'm about to take the golf cart up to the settlement to get some breakfast. Every time we've been leaving the cabin, Arlo jumps up on this chair inside the cabin. And then yesterday when we left, he jumped up into this one also. But I'm taking the golf cart up to the settlements. I originally only rented this for one day, but I was able to extend our rental. So I've made it up to Pioneer Hall. This is our golf cart with our name on it right there. And this is Trails and Restaurant, formerly P&J's Southern Takeout. Poop Dee was an obvious contender to have an engagement dinner. All you can eat homestyle vittles, chow down on fried chicken and smoked pork ribs, plenty of side fixins and moss, famous dessert, but it didn't really seem like the right place to just have a conversational celebratory dinner. So that's why I went with Be Our Guest. I was also thinking about California Grill, and I even looked into Cinderella Castle, but I'm glad we did what we did. All right, so I got the food and I'm bringing this back to the campsite. This is Crockett's Tavern. We might come back here a little bit later. This is just a quick service. Now, that was very quick. This is where we came last night to go to the boat launch. Just currently pulling up at the dock over there. We might come back here. We do definitely have enough drinks that we brought in the room. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll definitely be taking the golf cart around since I uh, was able to extend that. But now I'm back at the golf carts, have the food right here and I'm heading back to the cabin. And just a few minutes later, made it back to the cabin. I sort of understand why everyone loves the uh, the golf carts as opposed to the buses. And this is what we're having for breakfast. So Brennan got the fried chicken, egg and cheese biscuit with some tater tots. And then I got the bounty breakfast with eggs and bacon and sausage and a Mickey waffle and tater tots. Brennan's making some coffee right now. We have a side, a couple sides of cheese grits, have some orange juice and then some Krispy Kreme donuts. So we're about to head outside. Actually, Brynn's going right now. There's Arlo. Uh, so I wanted to show what we're about to do. So we are heading over to the dog park, which I think is going to be over here somewhere by the meadow. All right, so we are going to the Wagon Trails Dog Park with Arlo. Yay! And we have a little, uh, little water bottle over here for him. Isn't this cool? We'll be able to drink some water. So we are exiting out of our loop and then heading over to the dog park, which is sort of, I guess, over by the meadow, like I said. So I think we're heading right here. If we continue straight, we'd be going to Pioneer Hall. But there's the meadow recreation area, the pool, and the bike barn, and the sing-along. And we are almost at the dog park, puppy. And there it is, the dog park. So we have a big dog park and a little dog park. Arlo's making a friend. There's Brennan and Arlo running. <laughs> That's adorable. Hi, puppy. Oh, uh, want some just, water? To see him run, just so openly. Right. He made another puppy friend too. Yeah. In the big dog park. Carlo, go get him. <laughs> Yay! Look at him go. He's running. <laughs> and in the shade. Where's your friend going, Arlo? There's this creek back here that I think that we saw people kayaking on. You can canoe here. So this is the big dog park, which is substantially bigger than the small dog park, of course. There's a playground over there. There are multiple playgrounds around property and volleyball courts and basketball courts and tennis courts. Arlo is having such a good time. Look at him running. This is like our one shaded spot here in our little dog park. The big dog park has all these big trees and shaded areas. Arlo! There's this little water fountain over here at dog level. Wanna come over here, puppy? We've made the decision <laughs> Look at that tongue. to go into the laughing. big dog park until <laughs> somebody shows up with a big dog. So we could maybe run around here a little bit. I wanted to film the sign over here is Brennan and Arlo are running into the shade. The Wagon Trails Dog Park. And then some specifics with the rules open dawn to dusk. Welcome to Wagon Trails Dog Park, where dogs on vacation can lose the leash. There's so much more space over here. I really wanted to like run around in the shade of the trees. Right? Small dog park only has a dinky little <laughs> That's the one tree. teeny tiny little tree. <laughs> That's our cart. Over there we open up this this gate, which will close, obviously. And there's a little ball over here. It looks like somebody left their toys here from their dog. Harlow, tennis ball? Oh, tennis ball. You want to get it? Tennis ball. Okay. So each dog park has its own little gazebo here with a picnic table in the shade, which this is nice. Okay, we're heading out of the dog park. Now, 
Another dog showed up and Arlo met another friend. We're getting back into the golf cart. Didn't he do great? We finally got to go to the dog parks here at Fort Wilderness. Memories were made, Brennan. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> and this worked out like really well too. Oof. Okay. Heading back to the cabin, right? Yep. Bye dog park. Yay, puppy. So we turned into this cart road over by the meadow because we want to see if we can rent some canoes. So this is over by uh, the tennis court and then the pool. This is cool, right? Yeah. I'm going to want to try to go down that slide. I've never gone down that slide. So maybe tomorrow. We'll see. There's shuffleboard over here? I don't think I knew that. Um, you can park here. Okay. Yeah. This is the campfire show. Parking. Brennan and Arlo are back there and I'm heading over to the bike barn just to see what I can do with the uh, canoes. So we found the cost of uh, canoeing and kayaking. It's $8.50 for 30 minutes. That's and they okay. have pretty open availability. There's the meadow swimming pool. And we're gonna get this guy uh, back to the cabin. Our cabin loop is the very first loop because we checked in way back there. Willow Way is the name of our loop. We're almost back to the cabin, Arlo. There we are. Oh, oh no. I did not see that. That was in the shade. <laughs> we're back, 2860. Up, 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 puppy. There he goes! <laughs> Come inside! Yay! We're back! How's it feel? Oh, it's great to me. I feel amazing. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go back to the meadow. So I'm going back to the meadow because I wanna go to the trading post to maybe get some seasonings for what we're having for lunch, which we are doing our chicken skewers. So Brennan's going to uh, be back here with Arlo and she's gonna cut up some onions and peppers and then these chicken breasts. Here, we're going to put them on the skewers and then use the grill outside. All right, golf cart has just been parked and I've made it over to the meadow trading post. We really just wanted to see if we can find any extra seasonings or spices for our food today. But if not, then we'll definitely make do. So they don't have any spices that I was hoping for. They do have salt and pepper, but we did need some ketchup. So I got some ketchup as well as Mickey's cocoa and they have Mickey's coffee too. They have some breakfast stuff here, um, like pop tarts and cereal and then have some stuff for lunch and dinner. They have bread and hot dog and hamburger buns. They have hot dog wieners over there as well as uh, eggs and bacon. And they have a bunch of different drinks here and alcohol. Uh, and then they also have some like chips and dip here. And then that's some just general stuff for like camping. They sell firewood here. And then this is the merchandising section of Fort Wilderness, which has some specific Fort Wilderness stuff. Like over here in the corner. I don't see the shirt that I'm currently wearing, but I do like this one a lot. It didn't have my size, unfortunately, but maybe at some point we'll come back and I'll get the shirt. So far I've loved the convenience of having a golf cart, but they are $70 a day, which is quite an investment in my opinion. So you are definitely uh, encouraged to get your money's worth out of them, which is why I've been trying to drive around as much as possible in this golf cart. Now it is a very quick, like two to three minute drive to get back to our loop at the cabins and then we're gonna start making some lunch. All right, I'm gonna back to the cabin. I actually turned around to get some aluminum foil for lunch, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and heat up the coals and get the skewers ready. So Brennan and Arlo are outside now. Arlo's on the picnic table listening to all the sounds of Fort Wilderness. So I'm going to clean off the grill here uh, with this and then I have the charcoal that I'm going to use and then the charcoal tower and then these cherry hardwood chips adding fire and flavor. Uh, to our our lunch today and dinner. Hello, there he is. Hi, puppy. <laughs> oh, okay? hey, puppy. So Vernon has finished with the skewers, and the charcoal tower is looking awesome right now. Look at this; it is billowing smoke. I'm just enjoying my Arizona tea outside. I have a little uh, music player over there, just listening to some stuff. And yeah, Brennan's done with the skewers, so we should get these on the grill very soon. Gonna wrap those in the tin foil, and then have a delicious lunch. So while I'm waiting for the charcoal to get white, this is what Brennan did inside. So she has the chicken skewers prepared. Uh, she ended up using the seasoning that we technically brought for the burgers, but we can use them on the chicken as well. And then the onions, and then the peppers. And I'm gonna wrap these in tin foil, and then put them on the grill. So we're just hanging outside a little bit. Arlo's just enjoying the view of Roy grilling right now. 
grilling or just, I guess so. I mean, you're using a grill. Um, yeah, so poured the, the charcoal, which is fully heated up and whitened. And then I have these wrapped in the tin foil that you made that look incredibly delicious. And yeah, just gonna be able to flip these around a little bit and hopefully freeze them. We'll have some delicious like, little, little chicken skewers, right? Yeah. And then we'll do this again for dinner and make some burgers. Arlo. Hey puppy. Hey puppy. Hi. <laughs> hey pups. What you doing over there? Pup. Just tripped on a root. Hey pup. You exploring? There's lots to explore. Look at this. The beautiful wilderness of the Fort Wilderness Resort. And there's the door that we locked ourselves out of, but we don't really want to talk about that, do we? So the skewers have been detin foiled and Brennan taste tested the chicken, and it is thoroughly cooked and very well seasoned. So kudos, Brennan. Those look incredible. Thanks. And I'm happy that I was able to grill those because I was a little bit nervous about that. I don't think I've ever done chicken like mm -hmm. on an open grill. I love this picture. It's sort of like a random tangent. I think it's in every single um, Disney cabin here at Fort Wilderness. But I'm glad that we got to have this day. Right, puppy? We got to go to Fort Wilderness cabin with Arlo. Bubby. Bubby. <laughs> What's happening? Are you tuckered out from the dog park? So Brennan likes to use a fork to take all of this off of the skewer, but to me, the experience is to eat it off of the skewer, like a shish kebab, right? <laughs> what you looking at, puppy? Something outside? Pop it down. So we took a bunch of pictures with this uh, on Arlo. We're not taking a nap right now, um, but I think I'm gonna put this on the back of the golf cart. So I've been sort of trying to clean the room in here. I've been doing the dishes, just getting the kitchen all cleaned and situated for the dinner that we're going to be making tonight, which is going to be burgers and then probably some s'mores too, maybe some hot cocoa. Um, so as soon as Bruno wakes up, what we're planning to do is hopefully go either kayaking or canoeing because we have a couple hours to do that. Arlo keeps jumping up on this chair. What is that puppy? What's out there? Do you see something? He hears something. He's been having a, a, an overstimulating time with the golf carts. He doesn't know what to think about them. Right, Arlo? Okay. Wanna jump up here? There you go. Good boy. Okay, so I started the dishwasher and I'm taking Arlo on a little walk outside. I got the grill pretty much cleaned up and then I also did end up putting the She Said Yes bandana on the back of our golf cart. I figured I would do a walk around our cabin. So that's the living room. Down there, that's the bathroom window and then the bedroom window. We're almost at the very end of our loop and I mentioned that we do have to go all the way around to get to our cabin, but I do appreciate just sort of how secluded that this is. That's the bedroom window, and this is the patio with the picnic table on it. Come on, Arlo. I just love Fort Wilderness so much. Just the ambiance, that's why I wanted to propose here. Hi, Brennan. Hi. You woke up from your nap. Come on, Arlo, let's go. Hi, Thanks for letting me nap, puppy. Yay. Yay. You're awake. Do you want to go canoeing or kayaking? Okay. He's gonna be sad. I know. Arlo! Come here! Come here, puppy! Yay! Are you gonna be okay with this going canoeing? Are you gonna be sad? I don't think he's gonna be okay with it. Yeah. Especially like in new places. Like he... He doesn't have like separation anxiety, but he... I think he does he, a little bit. I think he just is bummed that he's missing out on something. Right? Like when I'm like grilling outside, he just wants to be outside. He's been a good boy this weekend. A little bit stressed, but I think it's better that thing, okay? I'm going to the dog park and then just going on little walks around like our cabin. Good lord, Arlo. There's Arlo in the window. And we're on the golf cart now. About to take this over to the meadow. We're backing up now. We'll be back, puppy, don't worry. Aww. We need to cook dinner. Yeah. It's only like 30 minute rentals increments anyway. We'll be back, Arlo. So we went that way to go to the dog park earlier, but we're heading this way because this is towards the settlement and then also uh, the meadow. Whoa, traffic ahead. <laughs> Do you remember when we went rollerblading over here? Yeah. See, I love that they have like a bunch of playgrounds. There's like a basketball court over there and a volleyball court. We're crossing the bridge over to the bike barn. We parked back over here on the other side of the meadow trading post. 
And yeah, let's go canoeing or biking. This is cool, you can go panning for gold. This is neat, this is also something you can purchase over at the bike barn. So we're back at the bike barn, and kayaking and canoeing are both $8.50 for 30 minutes. Bicycling is $11 for an hour or $20 for the day. And then you can do the, the gem mining experience. And also uh, fireworks cruises and uh, fishing excursions. Look at all of these activities they have in here. They have a pin trading board, pickleball and tennis rackets. And then the mother load, emerald strike and pay dirt, different types of mining, the bicycle all those fishing rods. Okay, so we're going canoeing. We have the paddles here. We're both wearing life vests, and we have an emergency air horn. And I'm can I see the route really okay. quickly? So this is the route that we're supposed to take. And I dropped it. That's the bike barn. Goodness, Brennan. <laughs> Just flip that over. So this is the route that we're supposed to take. It's allegedly supposed to take about 30 minutes or so, and they gave us this emergency air horn for uh, if we have an emergency. We're pushing this into the water as much as we can and I'm going to be sitting in the back so I'll go in first oh, sorry <laughs> what <laughs> and then Brennan will push us off I was about to get in as you said that so you gotta push us off and then get in yeah. yay we're canoeing Brennan get these paddles <sighs> there's the bike barn and we are heading over here towards this bridge by the meadow trading post we're going under the bridge and we'll be passing by uh, the swimming hole which is the pool that we saw earlier that we drove past. I would love to be in one of these RV campsites just right by the water. Just set up some chairs, maybe have some beers, and relax and look at the water. Look at how low this bridge is. I'm gonna try to touch it. That is pretty low. Here are the tennis courts. There's a volleyball court and apparently a disc golf here too. I didn't know that. I'm trying to record. Well, don't, don't fall out. But then also make sure that I help steer. This is absolutely beautiful right now. Brennan, this is a memory. This has been one of the best weekends ever. This is ever. so great. That's where we just came from back there. It is so beautiful over here. Like there's a, so Florida. this is very Florida. I was gonna say that there's a sign over there with an arrow pointing this direction for the bike barn because we are off of Fort Wilderness property now or like the campground property. All right, I'm gonna let Roy take the lead for a minute. I don't know what these flowers are, but they've been all over this course and they're so pretty. Y'all, if you ever stay at Fort Wilderness, you need to come out and do this. It's very peaceful. I'm into this. I wanna see an alligator. What? I, what? I just wanna see it. All right. <laughs> I'm using my Boy Scout merit badge prowess. What are you using your Girl Scout cookie baking prowess? Ugh, Girl Scouts was lame. They only taught us how to make friends. I don't have any friends, so <laughs> who's the real winner? <laughs> this is the sort of activity that whenever people presume that Disney's for just kids, that, I don't know, like this, this to me showcases why we both love Disney so much, because there's stuff like this to do and experience, right? right. <laughs> You're like, nope. Disney's for babies. <laughs> nah, I'm a baby. I definitely just uh, steered us in, into that brush back there. Sorry, Brennan. So we've made it to the next sign that says bike barn this direction. So we are getting pretty close, right? I love this so much, Brennan. I love it. We're coming up on the dog park that we saw some kayaks from earlier. Yay, we're getting pretty close. There's a deer right there along the fence. Oh, multiple deer. The deers are running. Yeah, so we just turned the corner. The dog park is literally right there. And I think we are almost back to the bike barn. I think according to our little map here. So it's actually so hot right now that my camera turned off. The internal temperature was too high. She even asked us if we had water because of how hot it was because it's about five o'clock right now, which is pretty much the hottest part of the day. We just passed underneath the bridge and then we're back over by the campsites and the RVs. And the dog park is right down there, so we should just be coming right around the corner to the bike barn. Imagine staying here in one of these RVs. This would be like absolutely ideal. I'm sure that these are premium campsites, probably. I mean, maybe not like you have to pay for like a premium campsite, but just 
the location of them is very premium, I think. This is the most narrow part of the creek so far. So we just made it around that corner. I'm pretty sure down there is the bridge that we need to head underneath that'll take us to the bike barn. This might be my favorite part so far. Just, it's so narrow. And like, the light is just hitting the water just perfectly. I bet the mosquitoes along here though are probably not ideal during certain times of the year. I promise I am paddling too, it's not just Brennan that's paddling this whole time. Heading underneath this bridge, there's the Chippendale sing-along. Brennan is doing a phenomenal job. We're going to try to come back here later on tonight to see the Chippendale sing-along. And we have our s'mores kit, but we also have s'mores stuff, so I don't know what we're going to going to be doing with that. Okay, and we've made it back to shore, out of our canoe. We did it, Brennan, we didn't need the, the emergency horn. I think we would. Now it's for realsy this time. It really is. R&B for Eva, right? Yeah. Need to pull our canoe in. And that took less than 30 minutes. I've been trying to take so many pictures on this. Also, $8.50 for that. All right, so we're heading back to the golf cart to take that back to the room, which is where Arlo is. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. I do want to come back to the Chippendale sing-along, but I don't know if we can bring Arlo. Look at that, Brennan. She said yes. <laughs> wow, you must be so lucky. <laughs> So to get back to our cabin, we would usually go straight, but I really want to see what the new cabins look like, and Roy was able to see them yesterday, so I, I kind of want to just drive by them on our way back and... Well, I saw them this morning, but they were up at the Oh, it was this morning. So it looks like these are the new cabins that are being constructed. Whoa. Okay. They're going to be nice, but they just Very modern. aren't going to have that aesthetic that we fell in love with it. Yeah, they do look like they're gonna be really pretty though. See those? Oh, these are modern. Okay, so these ones are a little bit more finished over here. Whoa. I'm sure they're going to be great, and I've already talked to my mom, but I'm excited to come back and stay with them. Mm -hmm. These cabins at some point. But they're just going to look so, so modern. I don't know. Whoa. It's just new and interesting. Oh, you can see some real finished ones. Nice. All right, and we're about to pull into our loop. We are well away, Vernon. Here we are. Oh, you and can't see it at all. <laughs> always tempted just to go that way because our cabin's like our a couple cabins, cabins like that right way. there. We almost made it back to the cabin. I love just like the, I don't know, like the swamp, like, like um, uh, what kind of trees are Tiana's by adventure? Mangroves? Is that what these are? Are they? There's our cabin. You think there's a puppy inside? I know there is. Do you think he's gonna be happy to see us? Oh my god, so happy. We're back, yeah. puppy! Okay. <laughs> oh. He's like, where'd you go? <laughs> we have to have some fun time. We went canoeing, puppy. Oh, he would have loved it. He probably would have. <laughs> but he can't swim. <laughs> he's just <laughs> dancing around. <laughs> oh, pups. Hi. Hello. Hey, puppy. Want some Gatorade? <laughs> okay. I'm glad that I brought these uh, because it was just so hot out there. Mm. My camera didn't even make it. So we're about to go to the Chippendale campfire sing-along, but we are playing some Lorcana before we go. And I'm in a very squeaky chair. <laughs> you are. Yeah. So we are outside getting Arlo all hooked up and getting ready to go on the golf cart to the campfire sing-along. <laughs> you ready, puppy? Let's go, Arlo. We're gonna go see Chip and Dale. So if we go to the campfire, and I don't know specifically if we're technically able to bring dogs to it. Arlo's just been a good boy, just sitting in between us in the golf cart. So I don't know the specifics of whether or not pets are allowed in like the campfire area. We'll definitely see once we get there, I guess. It's the bridge that we just rode the canoe underneath. And we've almost made it over here, back to the meadow. And again, here's like the, um, swimming pool and we can just park our golf cart somewhere over here, hopefully. All right, we are pulling into, I think, a parking spot? Maybe? Maybe not. Hmm. There was also archery over here earlier. That was cool. These are more spots over here. Yeah, so we parked the cart over here. What we think we're going to do is just walk around with Arlo a little bit 
And then I think go back to the cabin with him, just so he's not too overstimulated by this amount of people. We're just walking Arlo around the bike barn area where we just were. We thought that Arlo was a little bit overstimulated by like all of the people, but I think it might be the golf carts. So the sing-along starts at 7.30, which is what time it is right now. I don't know when the actual show starts where Chip and Dale come out. I know everyone is roasting marshmallows and getting ready for the sing-along and there's going to be a movie a little bit later on. And Arlo's already been pretty popular amongst the kids. So we're just walking Arlo around a little bit just to get him a little socialized. And then we're gonna go and take it back to the cabin. And then, I don't know, are we gonna come back for the sing-along? I figured we would. Arlo, drink some water, puppy. Drink some water. Are you distracted? So we are back over here. Um, I like the projection building and it's actually adorable because the cast member just showed some kids the secret knock to wake up Chippendale. Arlo, he was drinking water a second ago. Have some water, puppy. There you go, good boy. There they are. It's Chippendale. Arlo, have you ever seen a Disney character before, puppy? I don't think so. Let's get some clapping, some streaming, some cheering. It's Chip and Dale! It's Chip and Dale, the great sensational corporation. They are Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale! Chip and Dale are here, you can feel the excitement building now. In the back, right back in that cabin, Chip and Dale and myself were talking. Chip and Dale said we can't wait to get out there and see these folks. If you're excited to see Chip and Dale, give us a yeehaw. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, we'll puppy! Really excited, Chip yeehaw! Look around, Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale, they've got to head back to the cabin for just a few minutes because they've got to get some protein bars, some acorns, do some stretching. Get ready for the big hokey pokey that's going to take place right here in just a few minutes. They're going to go back there and then they're going to come back here. Let's get some clapping, some screaming, some cheering. For the stars of the show, cheer the band, come on. Woo! I'm about to do the hokey pokey, I think at some point, but I think we should head back with Arlo because we need to get some dinner, right? Yeah. Hey! Good job, puppy, you did such a good job! We weren't gonna hang out for as long as we did, but he did great. All right, we are heading out of the campfire, puppy in tow. We're gonna make some burgers. We're gonna go make some boigas. Real some burgers. Whoa, that scared Arlo. Sorry, sorry, puppy. Oh, right. <laughs> you made him sit up. Oh. All right, it's dusk, and we're doing our big old loop. <laughs> <laughs> I just used the horn for the first time, and it startled Arlo. Yeah, <laughs> he's doing okay though. So now we're back to the cabin. Arlo is very happy, but he did such a good job at the sing along. We were considering leaving because he seemed really nervous, but once we got him out of the golf cart. He seemed to actually like really enjoy himself and just looking at the, uh, the surrounding, I don't know, people and music and everything. So the sun has pretty much set now and Arlo and Brennan are out on the patio here and I finally got the charcoal going. All right, not to brag, but these are probably the best coals I have ever made in my life. The grill does not look too pretty right now, but these burgers are going to be incredible. And right now Brennan's inside and she's getting everything ready for the burgers. So we are inside and we have our Lorcan over there, which we're going to be playing more of that in a little bit we stopped to go to uh, the Chippendale sing-along, but these, uh, or this is our uh, spread here for dinner tonight. So these are the patties, there's some cheddar cheese there, and then some pimento cheese, all of the condiments with our brioche buns, uh, and then some lettuce and tomato and onion, and then some bacon, uh, and then some chips here with some dip, and then some pickles too if we want it. You ready, Brennan? I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Look at these burgers. Hell yeah! So we're listening to the Rapunzel bedtime stories as we eat our burgers for the night. This is my pimento cheese, onion, bacon, and barbecue burger. Ooh, that sounded great. And this is my cheddar cheese, bacon, tomato, onion, and lettuce <laughs> regular burger. <laughs> and there was a puppy behind you. Hi, puppy. Don't act they like- They were in love, that's us! <laughs> Don't act like we haven't given you a bunch of pimento cheese. 
I'm going to quest with Donald Duck and Mufasa for five lore. And Brennan, it is your turn. Okay. Before I do my turn, I'm at 19 lore right now. I do want to show you, these are all the cards that Roy himself, through this game, has banished. Yeah. It's be prepared, baby. It's He's the best card in the game. He's banished all of these. I'm sorry. So, with that, I'm going to draw a card. Okay, cool. It's Tinkerbell. I can't even use her as ink. But I am going to use all my ink. I'm going to play Pluto. I'm going to quest him for lore, and I'm going to win. Well, you didn't need to exert your ink because you played Pluto last turn. You exerted to play Tinkerbell. You know what? You're right. <laughs> but it. you still won. You I still did it for me. dramatic effects, <laughs> but I won. So here's the deal. I had all of the ingredients out and ready to go. I even got the jumbo marshmallows ready for s'mores. And apparently you need fuel for this kit, which I did not know that. And therefore did not get uh, canned fuel. So we will not be making s'mores tonight, which is probably okay because we are both... Uh, relatively absolutely full after all of the food that we've had today. So what I'm doing instead is I'm making some hot cocoa that I bought earlier uh, with this milk. So I have maple donuts, chocolate fudge, and churro. And I am making some churro hot cocoa. And now for the massive marshmallow. Yay! Oh my gosh. There's my hot cocoa. Oh my goodness. So today, um... Hi, Arlo. We went to, or I went to Trails End for some breakfast, and then we went to the dog park with Arlo, which was so much fun. Mm -hmm. We made some chicken skewers on the grill, and then we went canoeing, and we went to, um, Arlo was just fascinated <laughs> by this just... massive marshmallow. <laughs> uh, we went to the Chippendale sing along with Arlo, which was adorable, and then we made some burgers on the grill, and... It was just a great day. Drove around on the golf cart a lot. Like we really had like a real like Fort Wilderness experience today, and this has been just such like a fantastic weekend. And it's not over yet. Today we'll was the perfect day. Yeah, this has been a great weekend. So, thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Say goodbye. Goodbye. That's delicious.